I'm Ashton Addison from EventChain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Eden Dollywall, the Global Managing Director of Conflux Network. Eden, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. I'm excited to dive into Conflux Network. So if we could kick off the interview by getting the viewers up to speed with a little bit of the background on Conflux Network and what is the purpose and the vision of the project? Sure. So. Conflux is a high-performance layer one blockchain, uh, and it's led by Turing Award winner, Dr. Andy Yao. Uh, this project was born out of the labs of Xinhua University, which is sort of the Harvard MIT of China. And after we made a breakthrough in solving what's known, what's known as the blockchain trilemma problem, we decided to introduce this technology to the world as a global public network with the purpose of facilitating open commerce and cross-border collaboration. Mm -hmm. And so in 2018, we conducted a regulatory compliant fundraise um, of $35 million to build out this infrastructure. And since then, we've earned the status of being the only state endorsed public permissionless blockchain in China, um, which puts us in a fantastic position to introduce the benefits of public infrastructure in China and provide a regulatory compliant gateway uh, to the China market for global players. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's very exciting. And congratulations on all of that so far. And there's and still so early on. And I just want to dive a little bit more into the technology side uh, because a lot of people are familiar with you know Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and this is being a layer one protocol as well. Can you Talk about if there's anything unique specifically to Conflux Network and maybe if there are any major differences between the other smart contracting platforms like Ethereum and EOS. Well, in traditional blockchain architecture like, like Bitcoin, um, what happens is that there's a long, longest chain rule that determines the main chain. And um, what happens is, you know, um, all the forked blocks get discarded uh, and don't affect the longest chain determination. And mm -hmm. so um, the transaction of these forked blocks are not recorded and therefore miners aren't rewarded. Um, so that's a disadvantage. And then furthermore, uh, the computing power invested um, in the discarded blocks doesn't contribute to the security or the throughput of the system. Um, so it kind of makes it suboptimal. Mm -hmm. In Ethereum's case, um, you know, you have an algorithm that chooses the heaviest subtree um, in selecting how to discard these four blocks. Uh, so they're able to shorten the block generation time from, you know, 10 minutes to like under 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, but it also inefficiently discards a lot more fork blocks. And so that's that's sort of the, the downside of, of uh, proof of stake. Mm -hmm. Proof of stake is you know, more energy efficient than proof of work. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, there's still uh, significant technical and security threats and unknowns that, that'll still take some time uh, to work through um, as, you know, as proof of stake uh, gets launched and then even afterwards. In Conflux, with Conflux, what we've done is we've combined the benefits of a proof of work blockchain with a directed uh, acyclical graph. You know, we've combined that to create a high performance, what we call tree graph consensus protocol. And so the key breakthrough is that Conflux is able to optimistically process uh, concurrent blocks without discarding any as forks, which results in increased scalability, mm -hmm. increased security, and um, increased extensibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, very interesting. And yeah, I was reading about how the proof of work blockchain, seem, you know, it has a lot more history to it. Uh, and they've sort of worked out the kinks. And you were mentioning in the beginning about the trilemma, having that That's decentralization, right. scalability, and security. And you've managed to heighten the security and the scalability with Conflux, uh, and as well leading towards commerce and actually having a strong platform that dApps can be built on so that you can actually have business running. Can you talk a little bit about how you heightened the scalability and the security of the platform? And is there one of those uh, directions which is most important for Conflux? 
Well, I think everybody knows scalability is, is still the, sort of the key challenge for blockchains and to improve it, you know, consensus algorithms are, are, are the most limiting factor. And so, you know, we increased on-chain transactions by designing this unique uh, tree graph consensus mechanism. And, you know, this, this consensus mechanism now, um, you know, allows users to maximize the throughput to, you know, over 3,500 transactions per second without sacrificing decentralization um, and security. And we can also, you know, with the tree graph consensus protocol, optimize confirmation times to around 20 seconds, you know, which provides the same level of security as, you know, uh, six blocks in Bitcoin, 30 blocks in Ethereum. And I think probably, you know, as important as anything, you know, what this consensus protocol allows uh, users um, is a reduced transaction fee of mm -hmm. less than 1% of that in Ethereum. Wow. Yeah, that's a major difference. And that's 3,500 transactions seems to be adequate, at least out of the get-go for the main net, uh, which you're leading up to. And yeah. having that fast confirmation to allow you to have the flexibility to make transactions without having to wait at least 10 minutes with Bitcoin, you know, to buy your coffee is a little bit infeasible. So that's gr a great first step. And now I want to talk about Conflux moving towards the mainnet launch. The platform's been in the works for a few years now, making sure that you get every detail right. And it's tough to launch on your own and get adoption through development and e-commerce and get dApps built on the platform. So I'm guessing that you've been working on building partnerships within the industry to allow stronger players to, to help you grow. Can you talk about some of the partnerships you're making with Conflux Network? Sure. So, um, you know, I think for us, one of the things that we're focusing on is not just putting transactions on the network, but putting transactions with real value on the network. And so um, we've, we've, you know, str strategically what's benefited us, what we've been able to leverage through our endorsement with the government is uh, this ability to onboard government projects, you know, which gives us sort of recurring long-term use cases mm -hmm. in, in, in accruing and building value on our network. And so, you know, we've got use government use cases uh, around supply chain management, green energy traceability, data centers, uh, construction tracking. So as a baseline in building and accruing uh, transactions with value, this has been our beachhead, uh, working through these government projects. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, we're very interested and focused on, um, you know, decentralized finance and, uh, you know, facilitating cross-border commerce. And so we've, you know, been partnering with groups like Lysix and uh, Definer to kind of help enable liquidity and services uh, in the DeFi space as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just going to touch on that because decentralized finance has become such a hot topic uh, for a lot of blockchain companies throughout 2020. And it's becoming almost as popular as the, you know, in 2017, the ICO craze and getting a lot of attention from people that haven't been involved in the industry, which could be a very good thing. How important is the DeFi aspect for Conflux moving forward? Well, it's very important. Um, you know, we have this vision of enabling open commerce, right? And, you know, we view, we view open commerce or we define open commerce as, uh, you know, providing the ability um, for um, for users to acquire financial um, financial services, sort of, um, you know, uh, us providing an, an infrastructure that enables financial inclusivity, that enables liquid markets where assets can move freely across blockchains, mm -hmm. across borders, and so the type of things that we're really interested in are, you know, stable coins. Um, we're also interested in um, uh, DeFi applications in emerging markets. We've got um, a pretty big community in Southeast Asia. We've, uh, we've got a team in Africa. 
Uh, and so we're looking to kind of uh, uh, build those services in, 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 in those areas. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, beyond that, I mean, we're continually sort of um, uh, building, incentivizing infrastructure, that, mm -hmm. uh, working with other DeFi ecosystems to sort of facilitate liquidity for the broader sort of crypto markets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and working with the community and incentivizations, I think will be key because although the industry is working together to make a name for itself and we really have to do work together, there is a lot of developers that, that are already working on Ethereum and the main platforms that have already been working on it for a few years. But I, I was reading into Conflux in terms of your development and building some of these DeFi applications and supply chain applications uh, that often there are incentives and it looks like Conflux has a grant program and this program you've allocated up to 240 million dollars in Conflux which sounds like a huge amount. Uh, can mm -hmm. you talk about what is needed uh, for this grant program? Are there certain requirements or are you just looking for developers and researchers of all kind to help build the network? Right. So this is a multi-year grants program designed to kick off the creation of, you know, essential components of, of our, of the technology stack. Um, so, you know, it's, it's meant to, um, you know, incentivize uh, building blocks um, for, for other developers and entrepreneurs to build decentralized services on complex. Mm -hmm. That's sort of first and foremost, what we're, we're trying to um, incentivize with this grants program. Um, this will bring us closer to, you know, the, the developer community um, and um, support, you know, a wide variety of innovations. I think, you know, we've only had it um, launched now uh, for about a week, but we've seen a ton of interest from, you know, all, all like a wide variety of regions, um, you know, stretching from Nigeria, India, Colombia, um, North America. And so... You know, we're evaluating um, these projects right now and, um, you know, we'll, we'll be, you know, approving these on a rolling basis. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we're looking for everything from, uh, you know, um, uh, ideas, uh, proposals around developer tooling to dApps, um, you know, DeFi dApps to, um, you know, uh, even... Um, uh, proposals around uh, community building. So mm -hmm. we're really excited about it. Um, we've got a ton of inter interest already. And, uh, you know, we're, we think there's going to be a lot of exciting stuff coming up, um, you know, over the next you know few years uh, around this grants program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does sound very exciting. And uh, I was researching into the main net for Conflux, which seems to be very near, you know, relatively, right. you know, you've been working on this for a few years. Can you talk about, is there a timeline for when the mainnet will come out? And, you know, what, what are the goals from now until then? Is it mainly just working through this grants program and getting people to develop on the platform? Yeah, so, I mean, we're really excited uh, in October. Um, that 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 is, um, you know, when we are expecting mainnet to launch. Um, you know, we've been working towards it. Um, we've, we're in the middle of our, our, our final phase uh, towards mainnet, it's, which has been oriented around uh, decentralizing our mining. And, you know, we're, we're very happy with, you know, uh, so the successful implementation of, of our POW algorithm and the, uh, the decentralization of our node operators. Um, so from a technical standpoint, you know, um, we're, 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 we're pretty much there. Um, I think the other priorities for us is community building. We, um, you know, we are, um, we, we've launched a, um, a monthly virtual uh, global meetup that's sort of bringing um, thought leaders from China, from North America, all uh, together to kind of create a global conflux community. Um, we're working with developers um, uh, very closely um, to kind of um, help um, create the, the, the developer tools that will enable the dApps, um, you know, that, that, that we're looking for that um, um, can sort of demonstrate the value um, of, of, um, of decentralized services. 
And um, of course, you know, uh, the grants program is going to enable a lot of these activities. And so, you know, I do think that uh, there's going to be a lot of exciting uh, partnership uh, and grants announcements over the next mm -hmm. six months, uh, particularly after Mainnet in October. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Well, we're running out of time, but if the viewers are interested in learning more about the grants program, uh, whether it's for developers or for non-developers, and for more information leading up to the mainnet, what's the best way to learn more about Conflux Network and to get involved? Sure. So uh, to access our grants program, you, could, uh, you can log on to grants.confluxnetwork.org. Uh, if you're looking for information on Conflux, you know, confluxnetwork.org, you'll find us there. And then, you know, we're on Twitter uh, at Conflux underscore network. And then everybody's welcome to, you know, have conversations with us on Telegram. Um, we've got a number of channels, but I think for this audience, uh, at Conflux underscore English is probably the best channel. Great, Eden. I will leave those links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your time. All the best with the grants program and leading up to the mainnet for Conflux Network. And let's follow up in the near future. Sounds good. Thanks.